Thanks for joining mm. me for today's video. That looks this tasty. This video will be about what we recommend you eat on your trip to Poland. Tell me about it. Oh, I love you more than words can say. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me again, your boy Shady Shade, the one and only guys, and we are back here again today, guys, today, guys. So, guys, I said I'll be going to Poland as well, okay, but guys, before we travel, we need to check out the food. We need to check out the food and be like, okay, what are we going to eat there first? So, that's saying too much, guys, I'm going to check out some Polish food. I'm a foodie, guys. I love food. I'm quite slim, but I love food. I eat like a giant. <laughs> Anyway, without saying too much, guys, I'm going to jump on this right away. But before we start this video, guys, go down quickly, smash like, subscribe, give me some love. And let's get this started. Let's go. Back. Thanks for joining mm. me for today's video. That looks this tasty. This video will be about what we recommend you eat on your trip to Poland. Tell me about it. Most of those dishes you can get in all parts of Poland. So mm -hmm. wherever you plan on going, you're just going to need to pick the right restaurant and try it. Okay, talk Those to me. Those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Marta from Cooking the World. Hi Marta. We produce one video a week, so if you like what you've seen this far, I would appreciate if you click the subscribe button down. Okay, so I go like, I go subscribe. Let's go. Down below and the notification bell for more content about traditional food. Done. Let's move to Polish dishes. Polish cuisine is rich in meat and winter vegetables. I love meat. We eat a lot of potatoes, dumplings. And I love grains. potatoes. Definitely. The preparation of most of the dishes is very time-consuming, mm. but on the other hand, they taste like heaven. We will start with krokietki. That's just all I want to hear. It tastes like heaven. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> krokietki are pan-breaded pancakes krokietki. filled either with meat and vegetables or sauerkraut and mushrooms. Krokietki. They are served mm. warm with clear beetroot soup on the side. The filling is very juicy and they are very crispy from outside. Mm. So crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. So it goes crunch and then it just busts in your mouth and just goes and you just go. Ah, let's go. The next dish that is worth trying is pierogi ruskie. Pierogi, pierogi ruskie are dumplings full with potato, quark and onions. Usually, they serve it with chopped soft. fried onions on the top and sour cream. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of soft. Cream on the side. You can also find pierogi filled with meat and vegetables, sauerkraut and mushrooms, as well as berries. My favorite mm. one are the first mentioned. Soft, Not even the meat can no. beat the excellent potato quark filling. Mm, Golubki, which you translate to pigeons, are Golubki. made from boiled cabbage leaves. Golubki, translated to, to pigeon. Wait, did I hear that right? Gołąbki, which you translate to pigeons, are made from boiled cabbage leaves wrapped around a filling of minced pork or beef, chopped onions and rice. Usually, they are served with chopped tomato sauce on the side. Poles also have Christmas version of gołąbki that is made from mushrooms and cooked rice, which is my favorite. Looks very interesting. I love a lot of Important sauce in my food. Important soup to mention is rurek. Mm. The soup is made from sourdough, smoked bacon, boiled sausage, egg and potatoes. Hmm, Rurek looks is traditionally eaten for Easter, but it's also popular in other times of the year. Oh, so it's usually eaten Easter. And has a sour taste. I love it. Another traditional. I mean, I'm not too into sour foods. If foods are sour, I'm sort of like um, it's not kind of my, it's not really my thing. But yeah, I, do, I mean, I don't mind trying this. Oh, this looks good. Dish that has to be mentioned is bigos. This looks bigos good. Is a That's a lot of meat. Made from sauerkraut, cabbage and different kind of meat. Mm -hmm. At my home, it was usually served with bacon and fried sausage. Which versions contain beef and pork cubes, Yo, as this well looks as mushrooms. Tasty. Potato pancakes like with sour cream tasty. are very popular in Poland. I am aware of the fact that this is the national dish of Belarus and that they mm. are very well known in East and Middle Europe. But I think that the way they served in Poland is very particular. Okay. In Poland, potato pancakes are half centimeter thin and the potatoes are very finely grated, what gives them the fantastic texture. Mm. They are crispy from outside and cooked from beautiful. inside. Usually they serve beautiful. with sour cream on the side or beef stew. Kotlet de volaille is fried chicken filled with butter or cheese, coated with flour, eggs and breadcrumbs. The dish, despite wow. French name, has been developed wow. in Russia and came to Poland after Second World wow. War. Just look how this wow. cheese Wow! Oh! 
Look at how the insides are just pouring out peacefully. It's just pouring out like it has no care or worry in life. It's like, scratch, I'm coming out. Brav, man. Hey, hey, come on. Now, how am I going to get this, bruv? How am I going to get this now? I'm just getting hungry. Let me find something to eat. All right, <clears throat> let's go. On the side, you can see traditional Polish cucumber salad, Miseria. Miseria is made from sliced or grated cucumbers, mm -hmm. sour cream, spiced with salt, pepper, dill, vinegar, mm. and sugar. The mix is very refreshing and foods, usually yeah, served with your, breaded your pork tenderloin and potatoes. Rosso is rich liquid made of water in which bones, meat and vegetables has been simmered. The broth mm. is served as a starter on every Sunday in Silesian families, followed by filled rolled beef served with potato dumplings. Yo, cook in the world. Cook in the world. You guys better invite me, yeah? Because all this food you are showing me, you better invite me. <laughs> You better invite me to come through because, man, I'm loving what I'm saying so far, man. Come on. The are there Polish restaurants are in uh, pickled the London? cucumber, mustard, and smoked bacon cubes. My mm. grandmother secured the rolled meat with a strand, so we had to be careful not to eat it. The list of traditional mm. Polish dishes is long. Wait, the she surrounded it with what? Not to eat it. The list of bacon cubes. My grandmother secured the rolled meat with a strand, so we had to be careful not mm. to eat it. The list of traditional Polish dishes is long, therefore I couldn't include all of them in this video. You have more! I think that all the dishes mentioned are a great start for you to discover Polish cuisine. Yo, you have more cuisine! If you are looking for traditional <laughs> Polish recipes, please Yo. check the description box below. I have included some links for you. I wish you a great trip to Poland and I mm. hope you enjoy Polish food. Mm. 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 Yo, the Polish culinary, uh, I guess the community, <laughs> the Polish traditional dishes here yeah, are many, you know. Yeah, I thought that maybe in Poland it won't be a lot. Maybe uh, it'll be very similar to the UK or similar to like other European countries but what I've seen here are very different are things that I've never ever seen before I've never ever heard about it before as well it really does look tasty looks tasty looks delicious looks amazing looks like something I would definitely no something like I would something I would definitely try not just like yeah I would definitely try this like I'm not sure there are Polish restaurants in uh in London there should be man come on there should be we'll have a look yeah we'll have a look and see yeah maybe I'm gonna go try it but yeah man Mm, my mouth is watering. I want a taste of this. I want to feel Poland guys. Give me a taste of Poland. Let's eat it. Let's feel it. Let's drink it. Come on man. <laughs> but on the, on the real, on the real, um, your food looks really interesting. There's a lot of meat in your food and me, I'm a big meat fan. I love meat. Like if there's meat there, Shady is there. Just call me. Wherever there's meat, I'm over there. Yeah, it looks very nice still. It looks very, very nice. Um, like African food, like you know in Africa like our food is a meat based kind of food like whatever we eat there must be lots of meat in it yeah and so far I can see that Poland is sort of like that in a way and guys that's my thing so hopefully very soon uh, we're gonna hit Poland as soon as um, travel restrictions are lifted and we're gonna have some food guys you're gonna catch me there or I'm gonna catch you there <laughs> This video boy share the one and only guys one and only let me know what you think about this in the comment section guys put your suggestions there as well let me see more also smash like subscribe give me some love it's gonna be a peace out oh i love you more than words can say you are me oh you are the light that shine in my way you are me oh i love you more than words can say you are me oh you are the light that shine in my way